Hello guys, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another review of a uh, Movies from the Sea. No, this I'm not reviewing Suicide Squad. I did see it, but I'm not going to give my thoughts on it. I'm going to do a podcast with my friends and tell them what I thought about it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, everything about it. But I'm not reviewing it because I don't want to get any flack from anybody here on YouTube. And, uh, you know, just because I'm wearing my Flash shirt, yeah, it's just, no, I'm not going to review the film right now. I'm sticking to my guns, and I'm sticking to... The movies from the sea. This is an awesome movie, though. This is a movie that's great. It just recently got a sequel of month, like two months ago. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm very interested. And that is the 2003 juggernaut of Pixar, Finding Nemo. Now, this is a freaking great movie. This movie has everything that you can want in a kids' film. One of the year's best films, absolutely. Joel C Siegel, rest in peace, sir. This is a great freaking movie. This movie blew my mind and I didn't see it as a kid because when it came out I was 18 my sister was like 11 years old so she was the kid but when I saw this film on DVD a long time ago I was amazed by how beautiful the animation is it's just lovely colors and beautiful scenery and just the ocean looks fantastic uh, the characters are just mind-blowingly awesome in this movie Dory steals the film Ellen DeGeneres did a great voice for Dory, you know, it's her normal voice, she's very energetic and forgetful, but she's a very fun character, and she really carries the film with the comedy in that film, in this film. Marlon, voiced by Albert Brooks, he's basically, you know, he's this, the very concerned dad that a, a lot of us have, We, I can relate to that, an overprotective father, and uh, he does a great job, you know, you can feel his his voice, everything that he projects is in his voice, you know, because it's just a voice vocal performance, but you feel it. And when he's looking for his son, you 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 side with him. And then when he finds him at the end, it's very emotional. Uh, the turtles are fun characters. They showed up like halfway through the film. They're very cool. One that talks like a surfer is the, actually the director of the movie, Andrew Stanton. He does a good job. And, uh, you know, the, the adventure is, a, this is a great adventure for kids. I mean, I wish that animated movies were just like this, like, when I was a kid, like if they had Pixar when I was like five years old, I would have loved it. And because you know, this just this animation is mind blowing. This movie is a classic, it's one of the greatest Pixar films ever made, ever, ever made. And the sequel, I can't wait to see it because I, I want to feel that nostalgia again. This movie did a lot for animation, it showed that you could make a kid's film, but with a lot of heart and with ingenuity and beautiful animation and wonderful characters. and a movie that's not too long. It's 100 minutes, but you don't feel it. It feels like 80 minutes. It goes by real quick. It's very fast paced. As soon as Nemo gets captured and he meets other characters in like the in uh, in an aquarium in in uh, a little you know per, uh, por portable aquarium in somebody's uh, in a dentist's office in Australia, you meet uh, other fish there. You have a starfish and you have a black and white fish voiced by Willem Dafoe. You have a puffer fish voiced by Brad Garrett and uh, this other girl, uh, Flo slash Deb, voiced by Vicky Lewis. It's a lot of people in this movie, a lot of talent, and it wasn't wasted. It's a great movie. I love this film. I think it's one of the best Pixar films ever made, at least in my top five, even in the last 10 years. This is just, it takes the cake. It's fantastic. Can't wait to see Finding Dory because I've heard great things. It's conquering the summer. I don't think Suicide Squad's going to beat it. I'm sorry. Finding Dory's going to be better. I know it because Pixar delivers. Even when the movie is not the greatest, like Monster University. I liked it. Some people were mixed. But the animation was great. Brave. Lots of mixed reactions. People didn't think it deserved the Oscar. But the animation's stunning. Cars 2. I didn't hate it. I thought it was better than the first one. But this... It's almost universally praised for a reason, because it's fantastic. And it's in the ocean, and the ocean looks real. It's, you know, they have this beautiful music, and this the, the surroundings and the scenery is just lovely. It's like a painting in a, in, a, in a metropolitan museum of art, and just, wow. I'm very stunned that this movie is almost 15 years old. It still holds up. It's beautiful to look at. It's very funny. It's got a memorable cast, memorable characters. Really fun story, you know, a heartfelt story about a father looking for his son and, st and stopping at nothing. And I do mean nothing to, to get to back to his son and be reunited with him because of what happened to him in the beginning. If I, I don't want to spoil too much. If you haven't seen this movie, go see it. It is fantastic. You are not going to regret it at all. 
because it is a masterpiece of, ma of animation done by Pixar. Problems? Well, there are some characters that get kind of underused. Like some of the human characters are like, eh, like Darla. She's kind of creepy. She has these teeth. Yeah, she, she's a, kind of a weird character. They kind of do the whole psycho thing. Every time they show her, they do the psycho theme. It's like, din, 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 din. I'm like, uh, love the psycho theme. Don't get me wrong. But for a little girl, I'm like, eh, it's kind of creepy, you know. But the fish characters, all the, all the animals are great in the film. The sharks are great in the film. The manta ray that sings and everything. It's not a musical, though. A lot of Pixar, Disney Pixar films aren't musicals. But they do sing every now and then. It's not like uh, Frozen where they sing a lot. <laughs> but here they sing a couple times, but it's fun. Just Keep Swimming and Let's Name the Zones and everything. And the, end, the song at the end of the movie is, is fantastic. Just, I love Finding Nemo. This is a great movie. See it. If you haven't seen it, watch it. If you Disney knows what they're doing when it comes to these animated films. They put everything into this movie. They put the money behind it. They put the great... Uh, animators and they have great directors working on them and great writers they don't have to put a fart joke they don't have to pander to a female demographic of SJW douchebags they don't have to put a hidden agenda of religion or politics or anything or an environmental message they know what they're making and they make it right that's why this movie has withstood the test of time and I will love it another 10 years from now so that's my thoughts on Finding Nemo, it's great. It's one of the best Pixar films that have ever been put on screen. And I can't wait to see Finding Dory. I will review that once I get the Blu-ray for that, because I'm going to see it. Because I've been waiting over a decade to see another Finding, you know, anything at this point. And I want to find another classic, and hopefully that's coming soon. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You guys are great. Uh... Stay tuned, you know, like I said, I'm going to do a podcast with my friends sometime. I don't know when, but when it comes, it's going to be uploaded on YouTube. Watch it. Give your thoughts. You know, I'm going to give every thought that I have there because doing a separate review would just be weird. And I don't want to get flack. I really don't. I am going to get some, but hey, I'm going to be honest. Honesty is the best policy. That's what the screen junkies, uh, you know, <laughs> put in some of their trailers, even though some of their trailers I disagree. But anyway... That's not about them. That's about me. This is my channel. See you guys later, and I will come up with another review for Movies from the Sea. Take care.